Hello and welcome to Frank's School, 80, 83rd uh, day of the second year first video. I'm going on with punctuation. Here's the next sentence in this little story. It goes like this. It all reminded him of his youthful inability to remember to dot his eyes. Now the only thing new here <clears throat> is this spot right here. And the rule goes like this, when you refer to a word as a word, or a letter as a letter, you put it in quotes. Now, this is made more complicated by the fact that it's plural. There's also a rule that if you, if you take a, a letter and you make it plural, then you use an apostrophe, otherwise it looks like is. Um, I could have said, and cross his T's, and that would have been T apostrophe S. Now, as to the question of whether that apostrophe S goes outside the quotation marks or inside the quotation marks, I'm not sure. Here's what I chose. I do think that the period should go after the quotation marks, although I'm not the world's best punctuator. Oh boy, here comes the cat. Uh, so that wasn't very much. Um, and if you're only interested in uh, punctuation, uh, you should stop there. That's the end of a paragraph. Uh, uh, this is the old rooster, if, if you don't know. Here's a cat, right in time. Um, now, what we actually, that's audience number one. Uh, and uh, audience number two would be audi an audience that's uh, interested in knowing what does this actually sound like. Germans, for example, wanting to learn to uh, learn English uh, and uh, frustrated by the spelling. Well, here's what we say. Backslash indicates spelling for pronunciation. It all reminded, reminded, and there's the stress. It all reminded him. I, I know you hear sounds upstairs, but that, that's him of his, his youthful, you, there is the, I think you call it the aspirated, uh, that is not voiced, it's youth, youthful, oh, youthful, in, inability, in, ability, inability, to remember to remember to dot his eyes to dot his his uh, his eyes let me try it it all reminded him of his youthful inability to remember to dot his eyes. Yes. And in my dialect, many people would say youthful, and, and they would not make that L clear. Youthful. That sounds a little academic, but, but this is fine. Youthful. All right. Uh, now, that was the second audience. Uh, in the next video, I'll deal with the third audience, but I th th those who want to learn German. Uh, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start to leave the fourth audience out. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in the next video. See you soon.